it is 3 in the afternoon and i am feeling hungry very hungry i had my breakfast at 11 because riju woke up at 10 this morning i couldn't have my tiffin before my son had so i waited for him to wake up last night he was very busy with his studies so he said exams are approaching this is his second year in college as a history honor student yes he took up history as his subject quite to the objection of his father as a result there is no proper decent communication between father and son my husband thinks that riju should have taken science or commerce as his subject there are so many opportunities an awkward atmosphere prevails in this house nowadays whenever these two men face to face i hate it but i have to accept it oh finally it's riju i can sense a motherly instinct of course oh, oh my knees these days they hurt so much My son is at the door knocking with a hungry stomach and I I cannot just walk fast to open the door. Oh. Where were you? I have been waiting so long. He will never understand the struggle I go through every day at college. You don't have to go anywhere or be at the cruel heat of the sun. All you do is stay at home. Ma, you are so clumsy. sorry riju this day is my knee is um... listen mom i'll be in my room doing some important work so don't disturb me if not necessary okay oh, okay dear but have you lunch first lunch my it's almost 3 in the afternoon do you really think i'll wait till this must to have my meal huh. i already had it with my friends and now Please don't disturb me. Yesterday Riju had a quarrel with his father regarding pocket money. My husband is determined not to give him extra money as Riju does not obey him. But my son had promised to get a part-time job to pay for his own needs. He would not further beg for money from his father. So he said, But a mother's heart is always emotional. I managed to keep 500 rupees on his desk when he was asleep. To cheer him up, I also prepared his favorite lunch, parathas, paneer masala, butter chicken, but but It's eight o'clock. Time for my husband to return from his office. He must be home within half an hour, as he has been doing this for the last eight months. Wait, so early? Half an hour is still left. Oh no, oh no! I have to rush, rush to the door first. Yes, yes, coming, coming. Ah, uh, how did I fall down? Ah, uh, my waist, my legs. Oh, yes, coming. Oh, oh, he must be angry. What the hell is wrong with you, woman? Do you think I'm joking at the door, doing ting tong, ting tong? Today I came a bit early, and you are so upset. You don't want to let me enter in my own house. Please, please don't say like this. It's, it's my legs. Cut them off if you cannot use them properly. You know what? You are not even worth talking to. Move away from my side. Tears fill up my eyes, and I don't know what I am crying for. 
Is it due to the pain I'm falling down on the floor so hard or due to the pain of my existence in this life? It's dinner time and I somehow managed to cook some chicken masala and roti. I took some painkillers, of course, as I had to cook. I could not feed my husband and my son from the afternoon, so I also did not take food. Regarding Riju's choice of career, I should support my husband's decisions, whether they are right or wrong. I don't know. He is the man of the house. He will take all the most important choices. Who am I to decide who is right or wrong? I am not allowed to do that. Important decisions should be taken by men. I was not allowed to complete my higher studies. I was not allowed to choose my life partner. I was not even allowed to decide the name of my own son. Riju, it's almost midnight, so please go to bed. Don't be awake so long. Listen mom, I told you not to disturb me unnecessarily. I am working on an important project as the deadline is approaching. I will go to bed when I feel the need to. Don't we all take our mothers for granted? Undoubtedly, we treat them like sponges. We expect them to absorb every mean comment and ill attitude that we show. Don't we usually ignore the emotion of a mother? We see her as a symbol of peace and comfort, but do we give her the deserved respect for her sacrifices and contributions? Think again. Will you be surviving a day without your mother? Mothers will not stop caring for us. They will go to any extent to shower our lives with cozy gestures. So on this Mother's Day, let us all pledge to stop being rude to our mothers. Remember one thing, mothers are not born as mothers, one becomes mother. Be grateful for the journey she has, intentionally or unintentionally hopped on. From this day onwards, do indulge in making her life a bit easier by eliminating the abusive elements from her suppressed life. Let us make the life of a mother a really happy day. Happy Mother's Day.